Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick little comparison here between the Galaxy Grand, the Samsung Galaxy Grand 2 uh, on my left side versus on the right side, the Samsung Galaxy Mega 6.3, uh, which was a phone that came out last year. The Galaxy Grand 2 is a little bit more fresh from 2014 here. Uh, so let's compare these devices. So of course, the major thing here that you will notice is that, that there is a size difference. I mean, even both phones are really, really big. I mean, both phones are really, really big, um, but one of them is even bigger, you know? So that's pretty intense. Uh, so the Galaxy Grand or is 5.3 inches or 5.25 inches to be exact, versus a 6.3 inch Galaxy Mega. 6.3 inch might sound insane, but you can actually hold the device and use it. It's really not that bad. Uh, it's not iPad size, but it's nice. It's pretty okay, actually. Uh, of course, it takes time to learn to use it. It was like, it, takes time, it took time for me to learn to use the, um, <laughs> the uh, what was it being called? The, um, the, 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 it was, took time for me to learn to use the, uh, the Galaxy Note, the original Galaxy Note when it was new. I thought it was insanely big, but then I got used to it and I'm happy with it. So this one has a SC LCD display. Uh, and I gotta say, I prefer them o o on top over the um, TFT display that we do get on the uh, uh, on the um, Galaxy Grand 2. This one on the Galaxy Grand 2 kind of reminds about the g display on the Galaxy S4 active, uh, active, and I didn't like that one at all. It's very very bright in colors and such, but uh, it's a little bit too overpowered, I think, uh, compared to this one, which looks a little bit more nicer, I think. Uh, so we have a different setups here. Uh, this one is only available in an 8 gigabyte variant. This one is available in 8 and 16 gigabyte variant. So that's pretty nice. Uh, you get a different chip. Uh, you get same kind of Snapdragon 400 here, but there's a major difference in processor. You get quad core of a two gigahertz Cortex A7 uh, on the Galaxy Grand uh, versus the uh, the Galaxy Mega, which is using the one but seven gigahertz dual core Crate. And Crate is insanely awesome. Uh, it performs really, really nice, and overall, my experience is that in terms of games, uh, the Galaxy, the Crate the dual core of 7 gigahertz beat any day the quad core of 2 gigahertz Cortex A7. Uh, so that could definitely be good there to know. And I might do some game comparisons. I already did with the S4 Mini versus the Galaxy Grand, but people still want to see probably with the Mega. Uh, you also have a same kind of GPU inside of these devices, so a 305, so really not that super bad. Uh, you get different, of course, because this one is bigger, you can have stuff in a bigger battery. So it's a 3200 milliamp battery instead of this one uh, versus the Galaxy Grand 2 here, which is having a 2600 milliamp battery, which is for 600 milliamps less, I guess. Uh, this one, though, ha has a really, really cool premium feeling uh, with this like back, which is like a fox leather back, I guess. And it is really like cool thickness here. I really do enjoy it actually on this device. And it really, really fits nicely in the hand. Kind of feels like a premium device. Kind of feels like this should have been the, the S5 or something. Uh, it's quite nice actually. This one definitely feels a lot cheaper with this like plastic back here. Uh, but then again, you probably buy this one for the display and the display is definitely nice and size is also very, very nice. And we're gonna get a Galaxy Mega 2 this year. So that's gonna definitely be exciting to see what they're gonna upgrade. Uh, but it's also gonna be six inches in size at least. So yeah, just a quick little overall look video. Uh, I might do more videos with these two devices. If uh, people are interested in me going over and testing maybe some apps, maybe some gaming, maybe some opening apps, maybe some speed testing. Uh, but yeah, only if people are interested in that. So um, yeah, have a good day.